Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to the people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. In the, in the glory of God, God the Father. Father. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, who chose Saint Luke to reveal by his, by his preaching and writings the mystery of your love for the poor, grant that those who are already glor who already glory in your name may persevere as one heart and one soul and that all nations may merit to see your salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, Demas, enamored of the present world, deserted me and went to Thessalonica, Crescens to Galatia, and Titus to Dalmatia. Luke is the only one with me. Get Mark and bring him with you, for he is helpful to me in the ministry. I have sent Tychicus to Ephesus. When you come, bring the cloak I left with Carpus in Troas, the papyrus rolls, and specially the parchments. Alexander the coppersmith did me a great deal of harm. The Lord will repay him according to his deeds. You too be on guard against him, for he has strongly resisted our preaching. At my first defense, no one appeared on my behalf, but everyone deserted me. May it not be held against them. But the Lord stood by me and gave me strength, so that through me the proclamation might be completed and all the Gentiles might hear it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. 
Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Please stand. I chose you from the world to go and bear fruit that will last, says the Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The Lord Jesus appointed 72 disciples whom he sent ahead of him in pairs to every town and place he intended to visit. He said to them, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Go on your way. Behold, I am sending you like lambs among wolves. Carry no money, no bag, no sack, no sandals, and greet no one along the way. Into whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to this household. If a peaceful person lives there, your peace will rest on him. But if not, it will return to you. Stay in the same house and eat and drink what is offered to you. For the laborers deserve payment. Do not move about from one house to another. Whatever town you enter and they welcome you, eat what is set before you. Cure the sick in it and say to them, The kingdom of God is at hand. My dear brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Today we are celebrating the feast of Saint Luke, one of the evangelists, the man who sulat ng Evangelio. At si ito po si Saint Luke, kasakasama po ito ni Saint Paul sa kanyang journey. He is a physician actually, but he is also a historian. Evangelist who sulat, no? At siguro kung mapapansin natin, kung nagbabasa po kayo ng Bible, yung Acts of the Apostles, which is the journey of St. Paul, ang nagsulat po nung si St. Luke. Magkasama itong palagi, itong dalawang ito. At kung titignan natin yung buhay ni St. Luke, medyo kakaiba doon sa mga kasama niya. At kung titignan natin, hindi siya kasama doon sa 12 Apostles. Because according sa tradisyon, He is one of those persons na sumunod kay Kristo at kasama dito sa sitatawag na 72 disciples. Kaya hindi siya kasama dun sa 12. At kung titinan natin, sa ibang hilong binasa natin, there was this one writer, ang sabi niya, na God involves us into His mission, not because He needs us, but simply because He loves us. Ang Diyos daw ay ginagawa tayong bahagi ng kanyang misyon, hindi dahil kailangan niya tayo, kundi dahil mahal niya tayo. And I think, kung titignan natin, it is, there's a wisdom in it. May katotohanan ito, sapagkat kung titignan natin, kung ang Diyos ay talagang sadyang makapangyarihan, we don't need, kumbaga hindi na niya tayo kailangan Pansin nyo, kung makapangyarihan ka talaga. But God loves us. That is why in-involve niya tayo. I think even in our common experience, in our common relationships, 
usually you involve people that you trust and you involve people that you love. Makapangyarihan naman ang si, si Lord eh. Ba't kailangan pa niya? Hindi. Because God loves us. Because before this gospel passage actually, mapapansin natin yung baago, ba, paano hinanda ng Diyos ang mga disipulo niya. He empowered them, give them authority, sapagkat ipapadala sila ng Diyos. Our call to mission is actually that mission is our mission also to preach God's goodness and God's love. Yun lang naman ang pinipreach natin, ang pagmamahal ng Diyos sa buhay natin. Kaya siguro kung makikita natin sa buhay ni St. Luke, imagine mo yung kanyang pagsulat during those times, hindi pa uso yung papel, hindi pa uso yung cellphone. Ngayon kasi kapag ka gusto mong malaman kung ano yung sinasabi ng taong close mo, ng mahal mo, i-record mo lang. Di ba? May recorder na ngayon eh. During those times, it was really on the part of St. Luke na dahil minahal sa ng Diyos at mahal niya ang Diyos. Only those people who love truly, who truly loves, are the ones who could truly write something about the person that they love. Pansin niyo kapag kamahal yung tao, you could write many things about them. And you could write many things about what they say. Ito yung nangyari kay St. Luke. Kung titignan nga natin eh, parang yung buhay ni St. Luke eh, habang sumusunod siya at kasama niya si St. Paul, what they preach is God's grace, God's love. And that experience, ibinabahagi niya lang din sa iba. Sa ibang hilong binasa na, papansin natin eh, yung pagmamahal ng Diyos, yung pag-send. At kung mapapansin din natin dito, may warning si Lord, carry no money bag, no sack. The disciples are asked to live simply, simply or to live a simple life. Kung titingnan natin, it is actually practical and necessary. Because during those times, naglalakad lang po sila at kapag ka naglalakad ka at maraming dalang daladala, hassle, it's practical and necessary. And during those times, kapag ka marami kang dala, baggages, material baggages, you might call the attention ng mga hold-upper. Naglalakad lang kayo eh. The Lord is reminding us to trust in His providence. After all, what we are preaching is a preaching of love. That God loves us and He will provide for us. But God was also warning us, especially yung mga disciples niya, na there will come a time that there will be people who will be against you. People will not listen to you. But don't worry. I will be there. Imagine mo eh, pupunta ka nun sa mga lugar-lugar. People na, kahit pa man ang salita mo ay salita ng pamamahal, salita ng kapayapaan, there will still be people who will not listen to you. They might even persecute you. Kahit kami mga mga pare. Minsan, may maka, mga, mga mga comment na babash din. Wala ka naman sinabing masama. Because you cannot please everyone. But the Lord will is telling us, continue with your mission. I will provide something for you. Kaya nga, kung titignan natin sa kapiyastahan ni St. Luke, St. Luke experienced the love of God. He wrote that experience and share it 
to us. At hanggang ngayon, patuloy pa rin nating binabasa at patuloy pa rin nating ibinabahagi sa ating mga kapwa. Truly, kung titingnan natin, hindi talaga tayo kailangan ng Diyos sa ating mis- sa kanyang misyon. But God calls us. God involved us in His mission because He loved us. And I think that is that same love that we should preach to people. Sa tingin ko po, ang ministry talaga ng simbahan natin sa bawat isa sa pamilya is to preach the goodness of God and the love of God in our very own family, in our very own community. Let us all stand. Loyal friend and companion of St. Paul, Luke gave us a gospel rich in stories. Let us pray to the Father through the loving Savior revealed in Luke's gospel. For every petition we shall answer, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that the church may awaken within her members a hunger and thirst for the bread of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Spirit may guide those in the medical profession and those who assist them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may actively participate in the missionary activity of the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the handicapped may receive support and consolation from family and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may share in the joy of the company in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, we also pray for our personal intentions. Almighty Father, with the prayers of St. Luke, we bring our needs before you. Grant them for the sake of your Son, the loving Savior, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant for your heavenly gifts that we may serve you in freedom of heart, we pray, O Lord, so that the offerings we make on the feast day of St. Luke may bring us healing and give us glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is the right and just of our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages and ending, with all the hosts of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out, 
asui aklaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Socrates our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say,
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, to take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, to take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But all this say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that what we have received from your holy altar may sanctify us and make us strong in the faith of the gospel which Saint Luke proclaimed. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary, Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessings, for the blessing of rosaries, under these articles and images, in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary, Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Oh,